um, like, what do I do? My, my, I think something may be up with him. And he's smart. He mm-hmm. he can pick. He can. He he's just smart. I mean, it's to the point where I can. He understands everything I'm saying to him, mm-hmm. and he understands directions it's and like everything. A barrier. But he cannot specifically say it mm-hmm. back to me. Mm-hmm. So um, I started looking for help. I started googling, and once I did that, um, I started getting a more understanding of it. Then we went through a program called Child Fine, which is through Baltimore County. Then I went through Infant and Toddlers, which they came in. They evaluated him for six months. They said it was a behavioral issue. They tried teaching him sign, you know, more please, milk, eat, 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 eat. Fix diagnosis. You know what I'm saying? They thought it was behavioral Mm -hmm. as to why he's not talking. So um, once we got through all that, went through child fine and they finally diagnosed him even though through all of this i've been teaching reading mm-hmm. you know his abcs one two threes colors spanish english everything um so you said you still isaiah three isaiah three. Three. So isaiah's three. <coughs> mm-hmm. isaiah her son isaiah is now three mm-hmm. he was recently diagnosed with autism mm-hmm. And she's sharing her experience in re- relation to that. At first, she didn't know what it was until later on. And she said that she, at first she was defensive. She didn't want to believe it. Yeah. It was a lot of stereotype and a lot mm-hmm. of, you know, kind of like resistance. And mm-hmm. I don't know. And maybe it's this and assumptions and shit. So that kind of. Yeah, because I even told a lady when the lady was telling me, you know, like she was pushing my son off. At least I felt mm-hmm. like because we was at a library and she kept saying, well, you know. Just gotta be quiet here. This and this. I grabbed this lady by her by her, her collar, and then I had I had to realize. Oh, wait a minute, because I was really ready to jam this lady up in this library because that's how quick I am. Because I know my son has, uh, he has special needs, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna be present or unpresent. And see him being treated differently. Yes. Not going to have it at all. Right. You can take me to jail and lock me up. Right. But I had to realize, okay, wait a minute. What is this woman actually saying? So I started saying, what do you mean? And I do that a lot now. Even with his teachers, this and this. Even though they may say it blatant, you know, it may mean exactly what they're saying. But I always say, what do you mean? Because I needed to be as clear cut. I don't need I don't need to think about what I think it might mean or none of that. I needed to be clear as what you're saying. So I put him in school, in preschool. Um, he's in preschool now. He's talking. He says um, he has a habit of calling me by my first name. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, Shannon. But I, you know, I'd be like mom, mommy, and he'd be like mommy, mommy, eat mommy hungry mommy you know he'll say stuff like that so he talks he he knows how to do stuff stuff that i wouldn't even think that he knows how to do you know especially with my phone he know how to unlock it Mm -hmm. he done watch me put my password in he he, i mean just everything and he's so Mm self-sufficient but at first whoo i I, would it's 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 bad enough i was already in protective mode because i'm his Mm -hmm. mother Mm -hmm. but just to know that he had, and 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 also too, I will say this because I wanted to say this about it. Us as mothers, we handicap our children sometimes, mm-hmm. and we Got stunt it. their growth. Mm-hmm. Because what I have to realize is, when my son goes over to other people's house, like my sister or my ex mother in laws and stuff like that, talking perfectly fine. Oh, he's yeah. oh he's sick. He, oh no, but he know how to play mommy though. That's yeah to make the He know how to play oh, yeah. mommy, but when he thank you when I said I said okay, take this <laughs> well, thank you and I'll be like say say thank you and he'd be like <laughs> and I'll pull it back from him and I'll be like thank you and he'd be like <laughs> and then I have to give it to him and then he can right walk away and I take it from him again and I say thank you and then he say thank you mommy but I caught him I was on FaceTime and he was saying thank you the first time he could Oh, okay. So you know what you're doing. This ain't your autism. Right. You know what you're doing. Cool, got you. So now I'm I'm like, I don't take no uh uh-uh. uh. 
No. Yeah. I like and, that. You're, you're not allowing him to be handicapped. Nope. Yeah. I'm not allowing it at all. Go to sleep. You know what time it is. Go to bed. And he has this thing where when we get up in the morning, because my son, he doesn't like to sleep by himself for some mm-hmm. reason. I don't know. But I got to get his ass out of my bed. <laughs> but anyway, um, he, knows, well, he doesn't sleep by himself, so he sleeps with me. And he has this thing where when he's up, I got to be up. Mm-hmm. So he will t- he will take my eyelid and open it and say, "Mommy, open, up, open up, mommy." It's time. <laughs> what? So he knows how to communicate when he wants to communicate. So now I take a step back. I let him do his learning. I let him, you know, what I'm saying I don't handicap them. I don't be like, "Well, what's your program like? Explain it to me and do this and all." No. Mm-hmm. Isaiah gonna get in that program. He gonna do what he's supposed to. I, so, I didn't think he was gonna. He was gonna. I didn't think he was going to prosper in a program like that, even though it was designed for special needs children. But yeah, I didn't think, too much. I thought it would be too much. I was calling the lady every day. Um, um, but that was before, that was before when he first started in school in May. I kept calling the lady. Miss Jackson, um, yeah, this is on emailing her every day, blah, blah, blah. I came up there one day. I was off work. I came up there one day and surprised, and I was standing in there in the doorway just looking at him. He was doing everything, talking, moving Cracking shit, jokes. picking up shit. I was like, oh. But do it make you feel good to see that, like, It makes me feel good that he like, got it. Right. He got it. And he's smart. As he is so mm-hmm. smart. So, so, so would smart. you still, um, so are you against the vaccinations now? Yes, I am. Yeah. My next child will not be vaccinated. Oh, he was still him, or would you continue on or no? Nope, because he's supposed to be getting his next shots, I think it's the day after Thanksgiving. Right, because most people don't know. I'm not doing it. You can you, you can, can elect not to. You can get the yeah. paper, yes. have it signed, and all that stuff. I'm not doing it. You can I tried, it. My third kid, and, and, I tried and, not to get it, but yeah, his mom was just like... Because you ejected my to the child. up until he was two and some change. You said when he had all of my antibodies what that I had, right. he going to get through that breast milk. What It's liquid gold. Huh? What you say? What you say? Oh, about vaccination. No, he was you said you did something to do. Oh, breastfed. breastfed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because my first two kids don't got shots, and they they try to get them they shots all the time. But yeah, like you like just religious yeah. reasons. Not religious reasons. But my my last kid, I couldn't get his mother to not do it. Like I'm like, look, you don't do this. Well, blah blah blah. Yes. My mother said this, and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, I cannot. Because if you haven't noticed, if you haven't noticed, now there's autism. Yeah. Now there's. But what about now there was ADHD? ADHD. Yes, exactly. and that's what I was about to say. When you say the behavior problems, our children is always going to get behavior exactly. problems, exactly. not emotional, not none of that. PTSD because in behavior. the city we live in, they right. can be diagnosed post traumatic stress disorder. You go through stuff every day. Pretty much. But yeah, our children get ADHD. It's I'm not like say behavior and so autism. Two alternative schools. Autism is not a bad thing. Autism. Your child is a genius. Mm-hmm. Like it be. Yes. He's very smart. He just very smart. Very smart. <laughs> and he'll push and it together like, and all of it. Yeah, he just prefers like, not to talk. And you. I swear I cannot. I mean, it's this toy that I just brought for him out of nowhere. It's called Doogie. Mm. And it's this little monkey or whatever. For some reason, he found it on YouTube. He found it. How did you spell it? Girl, how yes. did you? You're three. Yeah. How did you spell they it and put it mine. in? I look on the. I saw. Oh. <laughs> Found Disney. Right, right. He finds it like, and everything. I'm just like, like, bro, that's how I be surprised when smart. they hear on YouTube and my TV. You gotta take the remote. My son, like you say, my son, he's not three, he's five. He can spell she, the, it, mm-hmm. those words. How can you get on Instagram and find everything? Yep. Not Instagram. I mean YouTube and find everything. Everything. Like you really got to put the words. He be in. having the toys in his hands. Like how did you? You got to be able to look through the face stuff. Yeah. How you spell Captain America? <laughs> you got the toy in your hand. Like how did you? Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Right. But he just started talking. His he just started growing from there. And I let it. I left it alone. So I don't handicap him. I let him know. You're supposed to be big at this time. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear no temper tantrum. You temper tantrum enough for me in the, in the, in the grocery store, I'm going to beat your ass. And I do not care who's going to be in here. They're going to mess around and get their ass with me. So I don't I don't hold him to that. I let him do him. How is it being, you're going to zip by, how is it being somebody with such an intellect? 
Harvard, oh. such an intellect, <laughs> having a child who's uh, autistic. So basically, in in the black and white stupid uh, uh, phrase, you're fucking smart. He's yeah. not. When when we know, like she said, they're fucking geniuses. But yeah. on the dummy on the dummy scale, Harvard, uh, uh, autistic handicapped child. How did you learn? more about yourself and more about people and gain some like humanitarian type of whatever through just having to uh i guess uh, prepare your son and prepare yourself yes um well being accepted to harvard wasn't really a big well it was a big thing still is and, but i couldn't I, I couldn't afford the money so it was pointless you understand what i'm saying yeah. I, I wrote jada and smith i wrote oprah i wrote coca-cola i wrote all of them she what was up? there to witness them <laughs> okay, I got accepted. That was all I wanted, but at the same time, it was like, how can I go? I and pay the Harvard lifestyle that price, and do like that and everything. A sandwich at Harvard is twelve dollars. Like, <laughs> I believe it's twenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like you gotta live in that environment. They got a window. Yes, but green cheese. They do, but I got a certain amount of money. It's just that I had to come up with the rest, oh. and I didn't have that. That's why they. Put that law in the fact that all them schools like Stanford, Harvard, it, it's like free tuition if you make below a certain amount per year. Okay. Now, yeah, I've been watching that. Yeah. I've been watching that for about ten years now. But um, as far as being smart, I don't consider myself smart. Even though Monica always says it's like, "Yo, you fucking smart." No, I'm educated. I tell people that all the time. I'm not smart. I'm just educated. And what that means for me is, okay. Uh, what is the saying I always used to say? The lotion on your hands so your hands won't be ashy. That's what I should My be. hands are always ashy. So look, oh, right? Um, <laughs> what was that saying I always used to say? Give me a moment. When talent, what is it? When talent. That means preparation? No. Uh-huh. Hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. Damn. Oh, say it again. That's me. Say it again. Yeah. Talent, no. Hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. I'm a hard worker. You may have natural intelligence. You may be a genius, but I bet you I can outsmart you because I'm going to work harder than you. Mm-hmm. That's, that's me. If I want to know something, I'm going to head, head straight first into it. I'm going to know it. I'm going to know what it means. I'm going to understand it on all spectrums. But as far as having my son and having him diagnosed with autism it kind of made sense to me because they were like they're geniuses they have people who have autism and because they talk too fast mm-hmm. they diagnose them with mm-hmm. autism mm-hmm. or they talk too slow or they have certain behavioral um yeah extreme frustration yeah they extreme, call it like just autism. different stuff that you're like, no, extreme in or you name. know like, no that's, a, no, that's autism you on the spectrum as what a you on spectrum exactly so it, it, when they when he diagnosed them with that, and I was just like, it makes sense. It makes sense to me because he's smart and I'm smart, and so is his father. I think his father is smarter than me, but he's Dang. smart. Yeah, and that's the you got to get go you to got to get up early in the morning to pull the wool over my eyes. That nigga been up for thirty days. Mm. Okay, <laughs> he's smart. Dang, well, y'all just but, outsmart each other? Like, all yeah, day trying to figure out who could but, be smarter. Uh, you know yeah. you only got to sleep for six hours. Well, really, it's five and a half. <laughs> See, we do the international he standard. The he do the shit. Second. That's what I'm right, saying. Right, right. He do, he do stuff, like, stuff you don't remember. Like, he remembers. Like, I didn't mm-hmm. know. Like, and it was crazy when we first met, because he would be like, I know I'm going to get off topic, but he would say, um, yeah, just turn left up on this cul-de-sac. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? Cul-de-sac. Yeah, that's that's what means it's a a <laughs> circle road with houses. That's a smart ass. I said, I said, just say turn on this road and it's the houses and just to pull to the. What are you talking about? <laughs> he will put words to things. Extremely technical. Good, yeah, he was. He's like terminology. That. Terminology is him. Right. Terminology is him. Me, I'm a bookworm. You're like, it's the actuator. You're like. What? You need what? a button and turn it on? Exactly. Yeah, the auctioneer. It takes this like, mega, megabits per second. Like, he don't, right. you know, break down the cable bill. This, 
megabits per second times this, blah, 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 they get banned with. So we ain't even really going to be. So I'll be like. How much is it? <laughs> <laughs> How much what? Is it? Okay, so we're going to get this this package. Cool. And we're going to be good, right? My computer, your computer, your, your stuff, and everything. Yeah, we good. The bandwidth the is band. big enough. Because it's not about the speed. I learned that from him. It's about the bandwidth. It's about the bandwidth. Okay. The amount of people traveling <laughs> on that megabits per second. As oh, that's how what the fast, bandwidth is. As how fast your listening will be. It's how many people be. on the bandwagon, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got that's how many on people are on the with. internet at the mm-hmm. same time using that same bandwidth of speed as how fast your stuff will go. I ain't never know. That's what I'm saying. He knows shit like that. I don't. I can't super put that to. Super fast internet ain't even getting you. Nope. Nowhere. And when they tell you it's fast, it don't even mean it's fast. And then it means too many people in the bandwidth now because everybody got this package. Everybody got this. Everybody <laughs> got LTE. Everybody got this. Everybody. I didn't understand that he broke that down for me. That's what I mean when I be like that motherfucker smart. And to understand something to the point you can teach somebody who don't know anything about it, yeah. and to get it to resonate the way so mm-hmm. they can teach other people. Mm-hmm. That's him. The expert. That's him. He could take computers apart, put them together, shit like that. He could. He's building his own computer right now. Mm. Like, yeah. like that shit. I don't know. He's just. Then that's why I'm saying when they told us he had autism, I was like, the shit makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Mama, daddy, makes sense. Cause that boy Isaiah is smart. Mm. He know how to turn that, turn the TV on. He know how to change it. He know how to use. Uh, what's that? The fire stick. Mm-hmm. He know how to mm-hmm. use it. He three? know where to, he's three. And he knows how to move through channels. I got he knows what is what thing. on there, what time it come on. He knows when it's about to come right. on. How you don't even know time? And we don't have no digital. We don't have no clocks sitting in there. It's all digital. So you really have to know to read it. Like that's and nine, what like one, that? and five. That's the time. That's the channel. You got to know the difference because it's a bunch of numbers. That boy's smart. So I don't limit him. I don't yeah, let him know. I let him go. That's it. At least you're not afraid. Like mm-hmm. you said before, you're not afraid anymore. Give yeah. him the space, let him run. Yeah. I let him do him. And I used to keep people from him. I used yes. to I used to um be like I fed him certain things. I still don't give him sugar. People kill me about that. But I still don't give him sugar. Um I don't I don't like to give him sweets and stuff like that because in my background, not as much in mine, probably, but in my husband's, you, my husband's. How are you, you escaping sugar? <laughs> it's so many things that you can cook that don't need sugar that still tastes good. And you don't have to use sugar, per se. You can use mm-hmm. natural sweeteners like honey, agave, agave mm-hmm. things like that that will sweeten it for you. And it don't have to be sugar. But also what I'm learning, too, from having a vegan diet for a while, mm. you know, that sugar doesn't cause diabetes mm-hmm. it's fat it's saturated fat and meat and because the meat uh, uh, is not is not what it used to be back in the day that's why people are coming up with cancer mm-hmm. this pro you know all this other stuff they're coming up with it's the meat it's what they're doing to it to gentrify it to make it be sellable in the these markets in and you know and yeah. most of us as black people we don't have great access to right. good foods and healthy this and this and that. Right. You know what I mean? That's why I've always stayed in certain areas. You know, even though I'm a county girl, I've always been a county girl. But, you know, now I'm living in Hunt Valley. So I stay out there. I stay with the Wegmans. I stay at Whole Foods. I buy right. my meats from there. I try not to buy too many conventional foods. I buy organic. Or if it's, I'm sorry, oh, you know, cool. organic Body or something like that. Or it just mm-hmm. all that. Because I don't want to give it to my child. Right. I don't want to give it I tried to, my best to keep my kids. I used to work on an organic farm. Mm-hmm. Like, I used to learn, teach people how to farm in the wintertime, like hoop houses, green mm-hmm. houses. All and that's that what we need so to do. We need to, we need to start. You know, you got two chickens per resident in Baltimore City? Mm-hmm. In your yard? You got two chickens. Like, oh, yeah. wild, raise your own chickens, mm-hmm. eat them, kill them, get two more, and keep going. And have their eggs. Like, I started eating brown eggs. I don't eat white anymore because it's bleached. Anything white, I don't But really the one eat. thing you should look out for. And did, I went to the seminar way back in the day. They was talking about how organic foods going to start being popularized, right? Mm-hmm. So, USDA organic certification. You only need to be 30% organic. Mm-hmm. So, you can have organic seed, but no. not organic soy. They say USDA organic, 30% at the most. USDA certified. You, yeah, what you want to go for is organic. the California 
Act of 1994 certification or the Oregon TILF certification mm-hmm. of organics. Other than that, if it's a USDA, <clears throat> it ain't really too much different from the regular. No, well, because I used to work at Whole Foods. I was I worked at Whole Foods before there was even a fucking Wegmans. Yeah, yeah, and I, I hate Wegmans. when people be like, oh my God, I love Wegmans. Well, Wegmans don't, like Wegmans, they try to compare Whole Foods to Wegmans. You can't. I used because to Whole Foods more is 100% more it's trillion organic, than Trader Joe's. 100%. It's called health concern. No pesticides, no, no GMOs, no none of that. That's 100%. That's Whole Foods. We had a Wegmans is not like that. They have a certified place. people that have the 30%, this and this, yeah, it's like whatever. It's not organic. Right. That's it. That's it. That's all And it most is. of the stuff is really hard to get real organic stuff. It costs so much. Like, you will spend like $6 for an apple if it's like biodynamic. Uh-huh. So they don't pick it. They wait till it fall. And it fall mm. into these nets. And they only let it come when it falls. It's some Buddhism wow. principles they take into consideration mm-hmm. with like these halal. certain trees. That's why I eat only. Yeah. I like halal foods. I will yeah. in a heartbeat. Yeah, like my yeah. curry goat you that I'm going to make. I always get halal. First. So if it's a mold, if it's killed unjustly, then you yeah. basically put that in your body. All they, the they know them spirits and stuff. I tell people that all the time. When it comes yeah. to spirits, you gotta be careful. People and you sitting don't know on your people bed, so you got people spiritual and changes when you have sex with somebody raw. Right. Them them spiritual ties that you get to people, right. you gotta be careful because people out here ain't right. Especially if so you, you got people that hate you. Black people yeah. making all your food and killing all the animals and having sex. And they with the angry that them died and all right. this stuff. Mm, I don't want no parts of that. Because like people yeah. having sex with lambs. Are you anti? Yeah, hugs that's the handshake. Are you anti hugs or handshake? To certain, to a certain degree. Sometimes you can feel when that person need a hug, or you can feel that person' energy is like yours. Fine, cool. But if I feel like you, you just off. No, don't touch. Yeah, cause my even when it comes down to your hair, like don't touch my hair. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't touch my food number two because then you can transfer all that. No. Yeah, I stop arguing with people. Well, hep C can be transferred. Yeah. Depending on where Especially you eat Asians, it from. They give you a like, chopped you know, dog and a hobby. And people don't care about their job. They don't care about their self. And they just coughing on shit. And they got hep C. And then you go eat that burger or give it to your kids. It's like mm-hmm. over from there. Like, yeah, it's a wrap. You got so yeah, many strains careful. of hepatitis C, mm-hmm. the H, the X. Like... And they just like wipe and they and sweat, that right? Because they wipe, they working so fast, and they wipe right. they sweat off and wrap your burger up and smear it all on that bread. I was devastated bread. when I heard Usher had like, um, what's the name? Because you know I grew up on Usher. So one in three that, people in Baltimore this, got hurt. This comes through. One in five got HIV. We done went, we done went, we done yeah, went we, all the way left. I'm sorry, but yes, I let my son do him. Um, I don't, I don't give him any challenges. Sometimes he does get frustrated, and he'll be like, <laughs> you know, be trying to. I'll be like, um cut that shit out you can figure it figure it out and show sure enough he will figure it out mm-hmm. that's what's up i gotta get out of here because i gotta get back to my kids cool yeah this was a well, great thing well yeah well you can just show rub my ego what's the closing oh i really well, appreciate the, this well, whole thing was is is good i like this and i really think you should bottle it up and really sell it especially during the holidays and you should figure out how to patent it and put it in the stores. Mm-hmm. Because if I can see all these little seasonings that people be putting on places and be on um, websites and stuff like that, and it don't even be that good, yeah, and this is really good, yeah. you can definitely get yourself in there and start patenting your stuff. Because that's good. Right, and you know, she got accepted to Harvard. So she said, <laughs> you know, the elites want to drink it. Right, That's the Ivy right. League drink of choice right there. <laughs> right, right. Mo Cider yeah. is the yeah. Ivy League drink of choice. Mm-hmm. It's a sophisticated drink. It is. Yeah. It is sophisticated. But I, I like how they say smooth only for players. <laughs> yeah. 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 Southern comfort. Yeah. For a reason. It's so Southern and it's comfort. comfort team. I'm with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I appreciate y'all endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see the money. My cash app is uh, <laughs> 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 I'm a photo photographer. This has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. What's your name again? Leslie. Mm-hmm. Leslie. I'm Chad. Hey, Good Chad. to meet you. Ooh. And what's your name again? Shannon. Shannon and Leslie. Mm-hmm.